Hello, today I'd like to show you how to get started with Canopy. Canopy is one of the digital resources that the library offers for free. So I'm going to start from Herrick's website, so herrickdl.org, and I'm going to come over to this Books and More option and go down to the eLibrary. This is where it shows you all of the different digital options we have for use at home. I'm going to scroll down here and find Watch Movies or Television and click on that. And then the first option is Canopy. So I'm going to click on Canopy. Now, Canopy tends to skew more towards nonfiction, documentary style, or Criterion classics, or foreign films and independent films. So not necessarily your big blockbuster hits, but there's still a lot of really good stuff in here. And you get eight checkouts in a month, so that's eight free movies a month through Canopy. So it already knows that we're from Herrick. So I'm going to come down here and hit Add Library Card to get started on making my account. So the first thing it's going to need is my library card number, so that whole big number off the bottom of the library card. So we're going to put that in. And then it needs the PIN, which should be the last four of the telephone number that the library has on file. And then we're going to hit Continue. And then it's going to ask to have you create an account. So it's going to need an email address and a password so that you can log in. So first it needs your name. And then it needs an email address. And then it needs a password. It does also need you to be more than 13 years old to create the account, so parents and teens only, just because there is some R-rated material available from the Canopy. So I'm going to hit Sign Up. There we go. So again, it's showing us we now have an account with Canopy. We get to watch up to eight films a month, so eight checkouts a month. And they have some special options in the Canopy Kids section and the Great Courses sections, so you can get even more content from there. So I'm going to go ahead and click Watch Now to get into the main Canopy site. So right up top is giving us a little heads up that we are going to need to verify that email address if we want to keep using the account. They just need to make sure that it's a real email address so that they can make sure to get a hold of you if they need to. So now we have here some new releases and some new options. So right now they've got a lot of Halloween stuff because we just got through Halloween, so a lot of extra scary movies and things. Um, some new, newest, newest documentaries, different things like that. World cinema, so again those foreign films. Some of them are in English, some of them are in the national language and their subtitles. So every couple of weeks or so, they change out what they're featuring here on this main page of Canopy. Up here, we have a search bar so that you can search for specific videos or actors or topics, anything you're sort of interested in. You can browse. So again, they've got different movies and all the different uh, genres, documentaries, and then educational films. Here we have an option to go to that Canopy Kids, so if we click there, it's going to take us to a different kind of homepage that's geared just for children, and it's going to have um, some new options. So you can get unlimited plays, so you still only get the eight checkouts, but instead of only being able to watch once in 72 hours, I believe you get to watch a couple extra times. You can set some additional parental controls if you want. So if you hit Start Watching, it's going to bring up all the different things. So in the Canopy Kids section, they have a lot of like animated books, um, animated movies and different things, a lot of just fun things, some little short movies if you have just, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then they've got a lot of great PBS stuff. So we've got Daniel Tiger, Arthur, some Sesame Street, Bernstein Bears. So a lot of classic favorites, so a lot of just great stuff that's available, again, for free here through Canopy. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here to Exit Canopy Kids and go back to the regular Canopy. And 
And then here is our menu. So again, that should say our name. And we have a couple of different options. So if I go to the dashboard, I can see what I've got going on in my account. So here we can set those parental controls. We can create watch list videos. So as we're going through, we can say we want to put it on our watch list to remember it for later. We can go back and see things that we've seen in the or what we've watched in the past in case there was something we wanted to remember to recommend to somebody. And we can create playlists to share with others. So there's a bunch of different things you can do here in Canopy. Um, but that's the basics of getting started and getting it set up. Hopefully that was helpful.